Hi everyone. Welcome to the Answering Common Questions presentation. This is the first of a new occasional presentation by TRS that will cover specific topics about which there are multiple questions. These presentations will be offered as needed, and this one is about retirement during COVID-19. Everything TRS has always done and been responsible for continues with regular business hours in a virtual setting because the lobby remains closed to protect members and staff. Most staff are working from home. Counseling is being done remotely. In-person seminars are now webinars. And of most interest for this presentation, retirement applications can be filed electronically. All of the ways TRS is working with members during the pandemic are summarized on the website under the Coronavirus Response Page Update. Here are some of the current questions that are being asked. Have retirements increased? For the current summer retirement season, the answer is no. TRS has seen fewer retirements this summer than in any time in the last 20 years. With the second question, Teachers still can get a full year of service credit under the Variable Student Instructional Year Calendar, even if added time in a day results in fewer literal days worked. But this does not take away the restriction in the final year of employment that requires a teacher to retire at the end of a fiscal year to obtain the full year of service credit. So, can you still retire? Yes. Our website has a host of information about preparing to retire, including the checklist seen here. All of that information is still valid and valuable to you. Among those reminders, be sure to request an estimate one year in advance of your intended retirement. Retirement applications can be filed electronically using Pathway, which provides access to your online account. Pathway registration instructions can be found on the website if you have not already registered. And finally, question four. Can breaks in service be waived for retirees to help with COVID-related staffing issues? No. These are federal tax laws and TRS does not have the ability to waive federal law. TRS retirees must have the required break in service before returning to work with a TRS employer. I hope you found this information regarding retirement during COVID-19 to be useful. Watch the TRS website and social media accounts for further updates and any changes about how TRS is operating during the pandemic. Feel free to contact Teachers Retirement if you have any questions about your account or about retirement in general. Stay healthy and thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.